Well, good morning, everybody. So we got a new part to put on the car, and it should improve the uh, dri overall driving experience a little bit. Will it make it go faster down the track? No. Will it make it go faster around a corner? No. But it will make it so it doesn't sound or seem like you're in a car crash when you go across a driveway threshold or apron. So I picked up a pair of the fangs and this is the uh, protectors for the radiator support skids. And yes, they are designed to hit the ground. It's going to happen in these cars. It's just a fact of life. Hit them hard enough and they can be damaged, even with something like this on there. But Currently this car has a set of aftermarket um, skids on it. They're metal and uh, they really do bite into the ground when you hit the ground with them. And it, it, it feels like you're in a baby car crash. So these from Sac City Corvette are made out of a special plastic. And this plastic actually acts more like a lubricant. Um, yeah, it'll get some scuffs and stuff in it, but it's made to be um, slid across the ground easier, if that makes sense. Kind of reminds me of the plastic that they use on the greaseless hitch plates on a fifth wheel RV. Uh, hitch if you know what that is uh, like now, This car sits pretty low to the ground, but here you can see the aftermarket skids and uh, We'll go ahead and get this car jacked up off the ground My car is lowered a little bit. It's not all the way down, but it's pretty low We'll get this thing jacked up and we'll see what it's like to put the uh, new and improved fangs on there. Now that we're jacked up in the air, we got a little better view of what we got going on here. So there's really not much to these aftermarket steel skids. It's just got a pinch bolt over the top of the radiator support. The bash bar portion of it. So I got to take these out, get these off. And then we'll uh, set up putting the uh, fangs in there. I got a little bit ahead of myself, which I'm known for. So the instructions. The instructions have you take the four air dam bolts out. I don't know that that's really necessary. I just took out the two end ones that hold the corner brackets for the spring-loaded part of the air dam. Um, that seems to be plenty. So basically, there are there is a left and a right. I should have pointed that out. So the left side has two holes in it. There's a hole here and then the hole at the back. This is for the air pump bracket, if you have that. That insert is right here. I don't have an air pump because somebody stole it. But I'm still going to put, I have a bolt that I can put in there, so I'll put one in there for a little extra support. And then also, this is just me being picky. Um, after I bolt this on, so yeah, we gotta get that. There we go to tuck under that bracket. Get that up in the bumper cover. Get that line back up. Okay. Then we're gonna put our bolt back in. I don't have the instructions right in front of me. Trying to remember if it wanted the large washer underneath the brackets to, to spread out the load on the plastic. I don't know if it really matters. We'll put it like that. Don't over tighten this stuff. 
just going in. Got plastic squishing in there. There's a quite a bit of forgiveness to this air dam, so it's that's probably actually going to help my intercooler out a little bit as far as the spring loaded part of it because it's dropping this corner down a little bit. The holes in the the holes in the fangs are slotted, so there is a little bit of wiggle room there. found a bolt out of my bolt bucket. Calibrated wrist. Like that. Okay. our bolt where the air pump bracket would be. All right, so this is, this, like I said, is totally unnecessary, but stuff like this is why I'll probably run a self-tapper into this real quick, just to suck that up good and tight. I'll push the bumper cover up so the screw will basically be out of sight and kind of protected. All right, so we got the fangs done. Turned out really good. I did verify in the instructions that the large area washer is supposed to go in between the air dam bracket and the fang itself. So that's how we've got them to make sense to spread the load out over that plastic. Um, here's the, you can see I put, did put the small self tapper at the very leading edge of this. Totally solid, both sides. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these out. I'm not gonna go smash into a driveway uh, threshold to show you how they work. I don't know that it would show on film very good anyways, but then the other uh, bonus to boot is the uh, fangs are substantially lighter than these steel skids. So that'll help offset all the extra weight that I've added to this car. Every ounce counts, as they say. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this installation. I'll put a link in the description down below to their product page if you want to check it out. And you can also see their instructions are, you can see their instructions are posted on their website as well, so. Anyways, if you have any uh, questions on this installation, by all means, put them down in the comments below. Try and get to everybody that I possibly can. We'll see you on the next one.